Hey guys, it's Natasha again. I was just gonna do a quick like get ready with me, tell you about my skincare routine, and just show you my products. Because I like the products I use and I think they're pretty good. And most of them are like reasonable, reasonable prices. So I think they're worth it. So first, what I use to take my makeup off at the end of the night is I use this Alemis like cleaning thing. It's a cleansing balm. It makes you really oily like you rub it on and then what i use to take it off is a makeup eraser i have a few of them or just baby wipes really and then i wash my face after i take it off with the cleansing balm what i wash my face with is the alemis superfood foaming cleaner i really like it um it really wasn't expensive i really like the products alemis i don't know if i'm saying that right i'm sorry alemis alemis i just really like their brand and the products they make then once I get out of the shower or after I wash my face, if I don't shower, I use the Alemis facial pads. And they are basically just like these little textured round things and you rub it on and it just makes your face like smell nice. And it, I think it gets all the excess dirt off. I'm not exactly sure what it does because I lost the box, but I noticed that when you like rub it in creases, like your nose, your T-zone, it really gets like the excess dirt that the soap didn't get. So I enjoy these. I've gone through like three bottles of them. They're really not that expensive either. Then the next product I use is the Cala Aloe Vera Toner. I just got this at TJ Maxx for $2.99 and I got it probably like a year ago. And you really only need like less than a penny size and then just rub it and then put it all over your face it makes you smell like i think it makes you smell like cucumbers but it's al it's aloe vera the next products i use i use the clean skin club vitamin c brightening booster serum it just comes in a little like drop like this um but what i do is i mix it with this the new co it is just like powder it has fresh vitamin c it firms fine lines smooths brightens and it's an antioxidant um i got this in my boxy charm subscription this was really expensive i think it was like 120 dollars on like the company's website because i looked it up because i didn't know what it was and i didn't know how to use it so i looked it up and it's expensive i really don't think it's worth the money but i do notice an improvement in my skin so you just shake like two two shakes of the powder and then drop some serum in there mix it together and it turns into like a thick white liquid and then you put it on your face let it dry so yeah these two go together the next thing i use is the qms intensive eye cream i just use this at night i don't use it all the time it's it says it's a night cream so i'll use it at night but sometimes i use it during the day i just really think like it gets rid of the dark spots like i i used to have really bad bags but now like it's just not really noticeable you can see the lines but i used to have like black rings under my eyes for moisturizer I, I have two moisturizers that I alternate from. I really like moisturizers, but these are my two favorites. I have a bunch of moisturizers, but these are personally my favorites. This is the Alemis Superfood um, Hydration Juice. It matches the skincare line of the face wash. And I just love this. It kind of does give your face a tacky feel. Like it makes it feel tacky, but I feel like that just helps with a, a makeup application after because it just works as a primer. But I love this. I love the way it smells. I love the way it goes on. Um, just don't put it on your eyelids because it does burn your eyes. Just because I don't know why it just burns your eyes. But the other one I alternate with is the Thayer's Blemish Clearing Balm. It's witch hazel. It's lemon scented. I like this. I would say this is more for oily skin. I kind of have like normal skin. I don't have dry or oily skin. It's just normal. And this sometimes dries my skin out. So I use it like on days when like I really have oily skin. Like with my hormonal cycle, I use that. Then what I use after, just before I put my makeup on and stuff, is the Thayer's Facial Mist in Rose. I really like this. I think it's nice. I enjoy this. It just gives a nice, refreshing feel. My final skincare product is the Glassy Touch in Soul. It's just like a glassy skin balm. You put it on. I have not put it on yet because it's a part of my makeup routine. 
but it looks like this. It's just that, and it, it just gives your face like a nice glossy look. I don't wear foundation or concealer, so I make sure that I put that on to give my skin like a, com a complete like same look. I really enjoy that. And then this is my favorite face mask. It's an overnight face mask. You sleep in it. It's the Avant. I assume it's a shea butter, but it's an eight hour radiance renewal sleeping mask. This is crazy expensive. Like for this size, this is 1.69 fluid ounces. This is a hundred dollars on their website. I did not pay that much. I will not pay that much like ever. I got this in my BoxyCharm subscription. So that's, I, I recommend BoxyCharm. I currently don't do it because I was unemployed due to an accident. So, but once I, once I start to work again, when I'm all healed up, I'm really excited to like get back into um, BoxyCharm, Ipsy, all those things. I love the makeup subscriptions. So moving on to the makeup portion of the video, this is gonna be like my usual everyday look. You know what I mean? Like I just do this every day. I feel like it's quick. It probably takes me like 10, 15 minutes like, right now, I kind of have to hurry because I have a friend on the way. I didn't know she was going to come so soon. But this is the glassy thing. So I'm just going to put it on my face. All you really need is, like, a little on each side. It's very, like, it's very, like, noticeable. I feel like, at least. So it just gives your skin like a shine dewy like if you're not into dewy makeup this probably is not for you but i like dewy makeup more than matt just because i like the i like the fresh look you know i'm sure you get it so then what i do is i take an eyelid primer this is like beat to the max I don't have another. I haven't been able to go out and get another. I just haven't had time. But this is the AOA Studio. It was literally a dollar on AOA's website. So I just scrape it from the side because it's there's literally like nothing left. Put it on my eyelids. And then I rub it in. I just use eyeshadow primer because I noticed that I get very creasy eyeshadow. But it also tunes it out but i also just use like a light shade of eyeshadow this is my shadow switch i highly recommend these for like brushes and stuff the next i'm gonna do i just bought this actually i'm very happy with it it's the rare beauty it's selena gomez's makeup line it is the um it's the melting blush it took me a minute to figure out how to use it this is the packaging it's very pretty my hands are slippery sorry and then you open it. There's a small compact mirror and this is it. So basically you just take your finger like this and it like melts on your finger. And what I do is I pat. So I go like up like this and then I streak. And then I just kind of go like that, like to make the apple show. And then I rub it in. That was a weird noise. I don't know if you guys heard that. I think it was my tortoise. So then I just do the same thing for the other side of my face. So yeah, that's all I do with the blush. I'm not very into like heavy blush. So I just do it very little. And then I have this. It's the Wander Beauty Trip for Two. It is a bronzer and blush. It is powder, but I like the bronzer. I do like... I do like powdered, br uh, sorry. I do like powdered blush. These are all my brushes. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to dip into the shade Costa Rica. This is Bellini in Costa Rica. I think it matches my skin tone perfectly. So I'll dip into that and just do it on the top of my head. You know, you get the vibe. Just to shape my head. I don't know how to use contour, honestly. I don't do contour. But I do just kind of put bronzer like kind of all over my face. I feel like it does the same thing. I'm not sure if anyone knows. You can 100% let me know in the comments, you know. So yeah, I just kind of put it like all over my face a little. 
it's the lighting too i have very weird lighting i'm moving on friday so i'll be getting a lot better lighting um i'm gonna get a new setup and everything because right now i'm just like in my parents like attic and that's okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is my eyebrows i don't draw them in i have this pixie natural brow duo with a gel and a color but i just use the gel because i just like i like the shape of my eyebrows honestly and i just go like that it does the one like negative reaction i have to this product though is it does harden your eyebrows like a lot like my cleansing balm cannot get it off i have to scrub 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 so i don't know if it's just the gel like if it's old or something i just bought it from target it was like seven bucks i'm not sure but it's okay so then here's my patricia bright revolution palette i love patricia i love and then i also have the soap highlighter palette i love them both favorite youtubers this is her palette it it is absolutely beautiful i love bright vibrant colors it comes with a nice big mirror that's very nice and this is it it kind of came broken like i it came broken i just bought this and it really wasn't that broken like it didn't look like destroyed but then i just cleaned up the shades that were like mixed together it's okay though and the shades that were broken like that have chips on them are shades that i'm not really a fan of i'm into like pinks purple so i am gonna go in with taste the rainbow and i'm just gonna go like this i'll be right back so this is what it looks like right now i did kind of mess up but i will take care of that so this is when the shadow switch comes in handy take the brush and just go like this and then the brush is clean again so then what i am going to go in is i'm going to go in with wifey right here it's just diagonal from there and i'm going to put that like on the corner right here be right back just to give it some dimension it does have a lot of fallout that's the one thing i'll say about this palette and then i'm gonna <laughs> i just realized the shade name i'm gonna take this pink's poppin I haven't used this shade yet. I'm just coming up with this right now. And I'm just gonna do from the corner to like out here and then blend. That is my eyeshadow look, but I'm gonna clean it up real quick. I feel like I'm not doing the best with eyeshadow, honestly. I get a lot of fallout with it. It may just be my fault. So I take a baby wipe and I start from this corner and I just go and make a straight line. And then that also helps me take care of my eyeliner. So the next step is I'm going to do a quick eyeliner. I use the Kat Von D Jagger Tattoo Liner that also came in my boxy charm. I know Kat Von D is like not a thing anymore. So I'm going to do a little wing. I kind of like thick eyeliner. I'll be right back. So that is that eyeliner. And I'm just going to do it to this eye. And then there's my other eye. And I am just going to take my Soph palette. I am going to, I want to dip into this shade right here. So I'm going to dip into that. I put it right here on my nose. Kind of boop it right there. And then I start here and I go up. And then I do it like a few times. I like shiny, shiny. I like really shiny. So yeah. That's the shade I used, and I like really sparkly. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but I can definitely see it up here on mine. And then I also just use the shadow switch. Ooh, I just realized that's in your way, I'm sorry. And then, just to set everything off, I use my e.l.f. setting spray. Always use setting spray before mascara, because your mascara will be wet, and then it's just like not fun, you know what I mean? Cause then it gets all under and it's just not a good time after that did you hear that so my final step is the maybelline lash sensational i always go back to this i have bought anastasia i bought the gucci mascara just because i wanted to see if it was good all of those nothing compares to this nothing compares to the seven dollar walmart makeup like 
in all honesty, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's the only mascara I wear. I like the way the wand's shaped. I'm sure you've all seen or heard or I've used this. But yeah, I'm gonna put it on. So this is my makeup look. I'm happy with it. This is about my everyday makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.